shy away from what we could and should do because we have an orphan spirit. Now this is a term that needs just a little bit of unpacking. People throw the term around, and when I say orphan spirit, I do not necessarily mean an evil demonic spirit with the name orphan. There is such a thing, but it's not as common as people might suppose. There is, however, a tendens or an ethos or what we might call an air about them where they seem to be an orphan. And we think if we have an orphan spirit, we think we cannot accomplish what we have been given to do. Jesus had to address this with his own disciples and he assured them, I will not leave you as orphans. And then he goes on to talk about the coming of the Holy Spirit who will guide them into the truth and give them the power to do the work they've been given to do. Orphans fight and grasp for all that they get. They fear running out of provision. They often grandstand to make themselves look better, seeking approval. One man took a job as a dishwasher simply because he figured he would always be able to get a meal by working in a restaurant. But the question is, what did he leave behind by settling for this job when he could have done many others? One of the marks of a healed interior life is the willingness to dream. A further mark is the willingness to step into that dream. That's to say, to take a risk to make the dream happen. So with that, it's time to dream again. You can literally ask God for dreams, and I think that's good. But also, let what is inside of you rise up. Maybe what has lain dormant for years or decades. Let that rise up and find its place, because what God implants, he also provisions.